Hello and welcome to Thorogood Associates Web Clip Series, empowering business users with ClipView 11. Today, we're going to be taking a look at web-based ad hoc reporting, specifically looking at comparative analysis. My name is Corey Hulse and I am a consultant here at Thorogood Associates. Thorogood Associates is an independent business intelligence specialist and we are also ClipView partners. Now without further ado, let's get into the demo. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be playing the role of a brand analyst. I've had a conversation with my CFO. My CFO is interested to do comparisons within segments and within brands of the products that we sell. What I'm interested to do is get comparisons going so that I can see where I'm trending up, where I'm trending down, uh, and how many units are being sold within each of these uh, groupings. ClickView is all about the associative experience. If I pick a category, I see the brands associated with it. If I see a region, I can see the other filters in my application change to reflect what other selections do and don't have data. But what about if I want to make selections within a particular selection? This is where ClickView 11's new alternate states feature comes in. So for my analysis, this is an awesome starting point for me. What the alternate states feature does is to take within a particular selection and get comparisons going to one another. So to give you some background on the screen that we're taking a look at, I have my blue side and my pink side. And what they represent are two different selections I can make within the same groupings. This gives me a breakdown of different spending accounts, how things are trending over time. But what it allows me to do is pick a brand on my left side and then pick another brand on the right side and I can do direct comparisons within a brand uh, to each other. I can see how things are trending across time. I can see particular spending accounts. So this is fantastic for comparisons within brands and we've seen applications of this to compare your products to a competitor's products. This also works for larger groupings of selections. I'm going to clear out and start over. I can pick a segment such as assorted and compare that to juice. It allows me to compare my categories to one another as well. Plus, if I wanted to make sub-selections within brand, I have the ability to do that. So this is fantastic, but I'm interested to maybe do a little bit more, maybe add a little more analysis to this. What I can do is I can right-click in the application, and it'll give me a set of different options. I'm going to select new sheet object because what I really want to do is I want to add a region filter to this to let me do uh, a filter based on whatever region I'm taking a look at. I'm going to go ahead. I see I have list box as a choice here. I can click and drag that on. And now I see I have my regions available to me. If I want to change any of these options here, I can right click, go to properties. I could switch the field that we're taking a look at. So I'm going to make sure that we have the region selected. I'm also going to make some quick changes to the presentation. Note that I'm doing this all within a browser. I'm not developing in an application. I'm doing this right by right-clicking in a browser window. So I'm going to make some quick modifications to this, and I'm going to drag it over and then shrink it down. And what I have now is a region selector that I can now pick and it will change my corresponding selections. So if I pick Americas, I'll see my data change for Americas. If I now select my segments, I can compare juice to soda. And I see those numbers change here. When I change my region, I can see those numbers also reflecting my current selections. That concludes this session's demo. ClickView 11's alternate states feature really enhances the type of analysis that you can do within ClickView, especially within dimensions. If you enjoyed this session and would like to learn more about how ClickView can help your business, please reach out to us at www.thoroughgood.com.